This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, and verse 1, and it reads, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. All right? Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakudash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwell. And I want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know. And I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash, you know, uh, Adwan Ratazai, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash, is going to be basically on, you know, eating this roll, which the roll represents the scriptures, all right, getting the understanding of it, all right, getting the understanding of the scriptures. I, as a whole, I am going out teaching this word unto the Lord's people, which are the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, all right? The Lord commanded us to learn his word, all right? Eat it as is learning, you know, digest it, all right? Have it in, in, in your mind, all right? And then regurgitate it, you know, tell it to, tell it to our people, you know, bring it out to our people, you know, just like our apostles and elders always, always say, you know, that's our job, eating this role, understanding this word and teaching this word to the Lord's people. All right. This is the book of uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 10 and verse five it says these 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them saying, go not into the way of the Gentiles, meaning these other nations. All right. In into any city of the Samaritans, into enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So we go into the lost sheep of the house of Israel because our people are lost. All right, our people are scattered. All right, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, then different philosophies, you know, you know, then then different doctrines. All right, they're lost. All right. They're lost. They don't know who they are. All right. So the, the Lord got the prophets out, you know, started with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and the man on down that has this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, teaching 100 percent truth, you know, bringing bringing the elect back to the Lord, man, to the heavenly father, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. Matthew chapter 10, and verse six, it says, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right. So the Lord said, don't go to the way of the Gentile. He said, don't go. Go not into the way of the Gentiles and in, in, into any city of the Samaritans. Enter you not. Why? Because they're not going to understand. This truth is for Israel. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And and as you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven and is at hand. So the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. And it's only this truth is only for Israel. It's the book of uh, Psalm chapter 148. Slot 149. 147, Salakia. Psalm chapter 147, Salakia, in verse 19, says, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. All right. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So the Lord showed his word unto Jacob. All right. This truth is only for the nation of Israel, and these times only for the elect. All right, because what the rest were blinded. This is the book of Romans 11 and verse seven. It says, what then Israel have not have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should so eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So the Lord gave them a spirit of slumber. The Lord blinded them. All right, so they can't spiritually see all right, and understand or hear and understand the Lord blinded them. All right. And you can see it daily. All right. You can see it daily. All right, our people, know they have no clue. All right. 
they're into these Christianity, they're into different philosophies. You know, the ones who know they're Israelites, they're still teaching um, false doctrines. All right. These other camps, they're teaching madness. All right. Because ultimately, the Lord, he's not he, he's he's dealing with them to deceive, but but he's not dealing with them. Uh, you know, to be for them to be delivered unless they repent, you know. So we out here to eat the roll. All right. Get this Bible. Understand the Bible here. Listen, you know. You know, get get fed this truth, you know, from the apostles and elders, great millstone. I right, had a true doctrine. Let me get that. Jeremiah three and 15. It says, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And there's a there's a precept in the pocket for also. It says bread of understanding. So this word is like unto food. This is the book of um, Ecclesiastes of Sirach chapter 15 and verse 3. With the bread of understanding shall she feed him, talking about wisdom, and give him water of wisdom to drink. All right, the bread of understanding Shall she feed him and give him water, the water of wisdom to drink? So the word is likened unto, all right. Uh, the Lord used different, uh, like like water as the word, bread, you know, as as the word, you know. So the the Lord said, eat this roll, meaning the Bible, the whole book, you know, and go speak to the house of Israel. All right, was the book of uh, where was that? It's like it. Ezekiel, Ezekiel three. In verse one again, it says, moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat that thou finest, eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. All right. That's a, that's what the Lord commanded us. Verse two. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then I did eat it and it was in my mouth as honey. For sweetness, all right. When you eat this roll, the scriptures talk about the roll being bitter, being sweet and bitter, all right. Once you digest it, you go through the afflictions. All right, you once you really understand, once you in this truth for a long, a long, a longer time, you know, all right, you start to go through. The Lord's try to the Lord tests you, all right. He he take certain things away from you to see if you gonna continue right, being with him, all right. The Lord said when you when you come to serve the Lord. You no, know, prepare thy soul. Hey, Shalom. Hey, Salakia. You know, I had a phone call. Brother just hit me up. You know, so I, I was just finishing. You know, I believe I was talking about, um, you know, when you come to serve the Lord, you know, prepare your soul for temptation, you know, and constantly endure because the Lord, he's going to test your faith, man. He's going to take away certain things, you know, to see if you're going to con continue trusting in him, you know. You know, so it becomes the scriptures talk about being bitter. Let me just I quoted it. Let me just get it real quick. You know, this word becomes sweet, then it becomes uh, bitter. All right. Is it Revelation, I believe, 10? Revelation chapter 10 and verse 9, it says, And I went unto the angel and said, sorry, And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. That's how you know this role talking about, talking about the scriptures, man. All right. And take it. Said unto me, take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy be thy belly bitter, and it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. All right. So when you digest it, all right, it's gonna become bitter. Bitter. You you gonna you gonna see. You know. You gonna go through. You gonna go through things, man. He says, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book and so I, and I took the book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly, my belly, my belly was bitter. All right. So this word is sweet at first, then it becomes, you know, bitter. All right. But hey, you you gotta heed that and shall sh sh endure until the end. The same shall be saved, man. And the pro we know the promises. We know that that the Lord, you know, he, he's gonna bless us. You know, the Lord. This is our reasonable service. You know, verse eleven. Just. A, Finish this off. Revelation 10 and verse 11 says, And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations 
tongues and kings. All right. So this is John the Revelator. All right. On the island of, island of Patmos, all right, which he was led prisoner there. All right, the Lord said he was going to come back in reincarnation and prophesy again. All right. And that's what what what, what is John the Revelator doing now? All right. When he came, when he came back, you know, he's going to be prophesying, eating the roll and going, telling the, telling the, our people, all right, their judgment. And he said nations and uh, tongues and kings. All right. Because the Lord said we are a prophet unto the nation. The, 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 the topic that we tell these other nations that they're, they're part of the Lord's movie or the, yeah, the Lord's movie, the Lord's program is that they going in slavery and they're going to have a great judgment because of what they did to, to the Lord's people, man. All right. So back at uh, Ezekiel three in verse three, it says, and he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it? And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. So the Lord says, second letter 15 and one, behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the words of prophecy without with it. The birds of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. All right. That's how the Lord always do. He would he would re, he would tell his prophet something and then they got to go out and tell all right, the, his message. Amos three and seven. It says, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So the Lord revealed his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. Then they would go out and teach, man. I believe Isaiah. I believe 46. Bear with me. Isaiah chapter 46 is a good one too. It says, remember the former, th Isaiah 46 and 9. It says, remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh and there is none else. I am the most high Yahweh and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. So the Lord declares the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So the Lord said he's going to do all his pleasure. Bear with me. Isaiah 40, bear with me. He said, um, yeah. how, how does it go? Slack you. Um, spring forth. <laughs> spring. <laughs> this is the book Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah 42 and 9 says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. So before something happens, the Lord always sends out his prophets all right, to warn, all right, before the event happens, man. All right. So that's our job. We tell our people martial laws coming. The the MOTB is about to be made mandatory. You just got an article with uh BBC, the BBC saying with the Caragua. All right, you can make payments, which that's according to Revelation 13 chapter. All right, so the Bible, the scriptures are speaking. They, the scripture said, though it tarry, wait for it, it will surely, it will surely come and will not tarry. All right, Ezekiel 3 and verse 4 again says, And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them, for thou art, for thou art not sent to a people, Y'all thou are not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. All right. So we're not we're not sent to a people of a, of a strange speech. All right. They our people understand all right, what we saying. All right. We're speaking clear English to them. Well, brothers are throughout the four corners. Earth. Spanish, Spanish, French, you know, Creole, the Patois, you know. Wherever, but the Dutch, you know, but even our brothers in sign language, sign language, man. Verse six, not many, not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou cannot understand. We're not sent to them. The Lord ain't going to send us to um, fucking India. And we and we don't know that language like we speaking to them in English. They're not going to really understand unless they speak the language. But majority are not. They're not going to understand. So the Lord has the Lord is he's clear in what he said. He's. When you send the prophets out, you're gonna fully understand. It says, not not too many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose words thou cannot 
canst not understand. Surely I have sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto me. Yes, yeah, the Lord sent us to the heathens and, we, and we're making, telling the promises for them. They will hearken. All right. All right. Verse seven. It says, but the house of Israel would not hearken unto thee, for they would not hearken unto me, for all the house of Israel are imputed and hard hearted, man. So our people are hard hearted, but we got to tell them. All right. Whether they hear or forbear as it goes, go. It says, uh, but the house of Israel, oh, verse eight, it says, behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an adamant harder than a flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. So we're not supposed to be all right, scared. All right. Of, of Jake, man. The Jake is wicked. They're rebellious. All right. So the Lord said he made our forehead hard against their forehead, man. All right. Verse 10, it says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all the words, all my words that, that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thy heart and hear with thine ears. And go get thee to them of the captivity unto the children of thy people and speak unto them and tell them, Thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh Bashim Ashai, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So our job is to tell our people whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Because why? I'll end it off on this. Just a quick lesson, you know, through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Ashai. Ezekiel 33 and 33 says, When this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. All right. So our people going to know that we was out there, you know, teaching the words of Yahweh Bashim Ashai, giving them warning. All right. That they may repent and come back and be delivered. But if they don't, they, 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 if they forbear the word, you know, they don't want to hear it. That blood is on upon you. All right. And the watchman, his, uh, his blood, the, that the blood is not on the watchman's hand. All right. And that person that didn't hearken, he's going to die in his iniquity. But the, the watchman, since he warned him, he's going to be, he's good. He's going to be saved. Lord willing, he a part of elect, you know. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwell. And I want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom Akim, keep pushing, keep doing. Shalom.